Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.6 from study group book. My name is Ardi and the question is solve for V1 in the circuit using nodal analysis. So what is V1? V1 is the voltage across this 10 ohm resistor. And as usual, if we are asked to use nodal analysis, the first thing we, that we need to do is to pick our ground. So, and as usual, I will pick the bottommost node as our ground. So here is our ground. And that means that the voltage here will equal to zero. Right? And now let's see what we got from here. Okay. I see one essential node, which is here. This node here. Let's name this node as node A and let's assume the direction of the current maybe they pass through this 10 ohm resistor going right this is 5 ohm going right and this in 10 ohm going down and this in 5 ohm, 4 ohm going right okay and one thing that we need to notice here and this is 10 volt from the ground so the value of this node will be 10 volt and this node here is 20 volt from the ground so I will have 20 here and now let's do KCL at node A let's do KCL at node A we only have one node so this should be done in one go okay the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. That is what KCL says. And let's see. There is, there are, there are two currents that goes out. Yeah, two currents that goes out and two currents that goes in. This current here and this current is going in. So let's start with this current first. So that is the difference between this voltage. So between 10 volt minus VA, we don't know VA yet, divided by 10. And then for this one, again, it's the same node difference. So I will have 10 minus VA divided by 5. I think that's all the current that goes in and now let's move on to the current that goes out this current here is going out and that is VA minus 0 divided by 10 and the last current here will be VA minus 20 yeah, minus 20 divided by 4 yeah I think that's all now let's simplify this okay, let's simplify this I think we have 10 minus VA over 10 plus 10 minus VA over 5 and that will equal to VA divided by 10 plus VA minus 20 divided by 4. Now I want to get rid of the denominator. Maybe maybe we can multiply both sides by what? 10? No, 20. Okay, let's multiply both sides by 20. If we multiply both sides by 20, I will have 2, and then multiply it by 10 minus VA. And then this one is what? 4. 4, 10 minus VA. And on the right hand side, I will have 2 VA plus 5. VA minus 20 right 
Okay, now we can take out this 10 minus VA outside, so we can factorize that, and we got 6 here. So we will have 6 multiplied by 10 minus VA. Okay, and that will equal to 2 VA plus 5 VA minus plus 5 minus 20 that will be minus 100 and now let's continue in or in the left hand side we will have 10 I mean not 10 60 60 minus 6 VA is equal to 7 VA yeah 7 VA minus 100 is it really 100 though? Yeah, hopefully I did not make any mistakes here. So, we will have 160 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we will have 13 VA. So, I will have VA is equal to 160 divided by 13. And that is not a nice number. So 160 divided by 13. What is it? 12.30. And I will have 12.30. But that is V A and we are asked to find V1. But V1 can be easily calculated from V A. This is V A minus ground, which is equal to V A minus zero or v1 is just equal to va and that means that v1 is 12.30 okay this is the final answer hopefully i did not make any mistakes in this calculation uh, do not forget to like and subscribe and bye bye